First, we have what I like to call a superhero fish. <laughs> now, this fish doesn't look like a superhero. He's called the opu fish. He's the only fish in the entire created world that has a this one ability I'm about to show you. Now, he's not that big. He's only about uh, five inches long. He's not that colorful. Matter of fact, it looks like someone punched him in the face and he has a black eye. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it, it's not that wonderful of a fish. So why do I call him a superhero? Because this fish lives off the island of Hawaii, only place he lives in the world, in the ocean. But she has to lay her eggs in fresh water. Now, lots of fish do that, salmon and other fish. In order to survive, they swim upstream, lay their eggs in fresh water. But where the opu fish lives, the only source of fresh water is at the top of a 440 foot tall waterfall. No, wait a minute, Bruce. You didn't say this was a bird. You said this was a fish. Exactly. You see, the water comes down. It flows immediately into the ocean. If the fish lays its eggs down here at the bottom of the waterfall, then they'll just die. They'll get flushed out into the salt water. They'll die. No more opu fish. So how is it going to get to the top of the waterfall? Well, that's an interesting trick. I'd like to see exactly well, how that I happens. often ask questions like this to students as I teach in schools and give all the students one of these books that they can continue to study creation. And they'll, they'll, they'll shout out answers and someone will say, well, maybe it'll fly. Well, there are flying, what are called flying fish. Mm -hmm. But these are just the fins of fish. They can't flap them, they should just glide a few feet above the water and back down. They can't fly 440 foot tall. Mm -hmm. No fish can do this, so that doesn't work. So I think, well, maybe, you know, maybe like since he's a superhero, ah. he's like Spider-Man <laughs> and he'll climb up the waterfall. Uh -huh. Well, everybody laughs just as you did because obviously he can't transform into Spider-Man. <laughs> but then there's other movies. Remember Mission Impossible, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Ethan Hunt. In one of the movies, he puts suction cup gloves on and he climbs there we up go. the building. We need suction so cup the, fins. Well, well, you laugh, but guess what? Hmm. This fish is the only fish in creation. He's a type of fish called a goby. Well, God has given him fins that are fused together, his pectoral fins, to form a literal suction cup underneath the fish. So he swims up to the waterfall, attaches the suction cup, shoves, attaches, shoves, and over a matter of days, climbs 440 foot past rushing water and then jumps into the water and lays his eggs at the top of the waterfall. Rock climbing gobies swim against strong currents and descend the slippery overhanging rocks of high waterfalls using mouth and pelvic suckers. While some other fish species are known for their waterfall climbing feats, none of them jump onto and over dry rocks like the rock climbing goby. What is it that drives rock climbing goby to fight their way upstream over waterfalls and dry rocks? So it's amazing. How did all the parts come together so this fish could climb up there. Now, now think about it. If those two fins were perfectly fused, it wouldn't form a suction cup. It would lay its eggs, they would die, no more fish. If it didn't know how to shove with its tail, it would, wouldn't climb up, lay its eggs, no more fish. If it didn't know there was fresh water at the top, it couldn't get there, no more fish. Everything had to be there or nothing works. It seems like an evolutionary process is just utterly incapable of explaining something like this. A, a quarter, a three-quarter developed suction cup is worthless on this fish. I, I think that's why God does these things so we will know, absolutely know, he exists. Mm 